Kaya Geist Hunter. Three mana. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, three mana. That's already a good start. It's a good start, good start. Kaya. Plus, ch ch check out the commander one. Sure, I'll check out the commander. Um, so she reminds me of somebody like from Vampire Hunters, like Blade, a female Blade. Anyways, creature you control, gain death touch in a turn. Put a plus one plus one counter on, tar on one target creature token. On the one target creature token, has to be a token. Okay. Interesting. Uh, minus two. Till end of turn, if one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many tokens are created under your control instead. Okay. Interesting. Minus six, exile all cards from all graveyards, then make one one, make a one one white spirit creature token with flying for each card exile this way. I mean, honestly, y'all are gonna like, I think this card is, I like planeswalkers like this. I, I love cards like this that you have to be, that you have to build around. I know, I know y'all like saying, shitty Kaya, bullshit Kaya, blah, 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 blah. But I love this shit. I love this shit because you actually have to like put thought into your fucking deck and build a and build a deck. You don't just jam like, okay, I'm playing black white. There's a black white planeswalker. Let me just fucking jam it because it's just generically good. This I feel like I feel like planeswalker should be, should be more like this. Honestly, I like this. I mean, I personally I personally like this because like you don't just jam your good planeswalker in your whatever color deck. Um, so maybe, maybe in like a Abzan shell with Ranger class and some other ways to make tokens. Or maybe, yeah, or maybe an Esper make, to make tokens. But I think you want to, I think you want like, or even like, if you play this in turn four, you minus and you play Asika's Chariot, you make four cats, right? Or you play this and then you play Ren Seven, you make two you make two uh tree folk tree folk things. It's not crazy, but it's interesting. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a three out of five. Because one, I like it, and I wanted to be in a, in a token deck. Uh, it's not it's not the best card ever, but like I think if you build around it, you can probably do something. Obviously we need enough token strategies, but Honestly, like doubling season or anointed procession on three mana uh, on three mana walker is pretty powerful. Uh, even like, even if you do Esper like an historic and you play this and you minus two and then you play like Mythos of Aluna. So like if, if, if you play, if you play Myth Myth Mythos of Aluna on even a land, basically to ramp twice, or if you play on a creature, you get, you, you get two of them. Or whatever, so it's it's definitely interesting. Yeah, that's that's what I said the best use is like you play as turn three, turn four, you minus, and you get four cats from Isika's chariot. Yeah. Foreboding statue, three mana, tapped, add one mana of any color. I uh, put an omen counter on this thing at the beginning of the end step. If there are Three or more counters on it. Transform it. When you transform it at the beginning of your pre-combat main, I mean, beginning of your pre main phase, add one mana of any color. Eh. No. You know, you know, you know what I want. I want a three mana artifact like this that transforms and then adds more mana. Give me that. That's what I want. I want like a three mana artifact. You tap for any color mana. Advocates three counters. It taps for two mana. This is not this is not good enough though. Or even or even in Angels, like what what if you play it in Angels? You play in Angels, the Kaya. And then you and then you, like you minus it. And then you play Starheim Unleashed for five, or for four, for two, whatever. You make more angels. Right? Anyways. Uh welcoming vampire. Three minute for a two-three flyer. 
Whenever one or more creatures with power two or less in the battlefield under control, draw a card. Yeah, this card's good. This card's great. This card is uh, three point five. It's or, or or even like it's, or four. It's it's just a very solid card. Uh, this should. I'll, I'll give this a three point three point five. It should see play. I just want to say Kaya actually goes really well in black white in black white tokens or black white angels because black white angels makes a lot of token angels uh because you have phrase you have phrase retribution as well you have starheim unleashed um what else do you have anyways yeah this is this one's odd audric blood cursed so three mana for one red white for three three. When when, when Audric enters the battlefield, make X blood tokens rex the number of abilities from among flying, first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hex roof, indestructible, life link, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance. I'm gonna give this a two. He's this this card's pretty garbage. It's, it's legendary. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a two. A two. A two. Audric, you're better as a non-vampire. It's pretty bad. It's actually worse than a two. It's like a 1.5. It's pretty bad. That card's not good. Howling Moon. Three man enchantment. Oh my god, look at the sheep. Look at the sheep. It's Twitter. There's Twitter right here. And there's me howling. And the sheep are coming. They're like, oh, I'm coming, Ollie. I'm like, oh, oh. They're like, oh. At the beginning of combat on your turn, Target wolf or werewolf you control gets plus two plus two till end of turn. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, make a two two wolf token, creature token. Their second spell each turn? No, not really. I think this card's good enough. I, mean, I don't know. I don't not, 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 not a fan of not a fan of this one. I'll give it. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give this a two out of five. Not, not that great. Kind of slow. Like it doesn't do anything. When it comes into play really. Um, not a fan. Not a fan. Hole breaker horror. Kraken horror. Seven mana for a seven eight. Holy shit. Okay. The spell can be countered and has flash. All right. Whenever you cast a spell, choose one. Return target spell you don't control to its owner's hand. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Oh shit. So this is, this, this is like, this is basically a tie spell tyrant, but this thing bounces fucking spells. This card is good. This card is really good. Like you, you can basically counter, this counters, this counters uncounterable spells. That's really powerful. That's a good. That's a, that's a good. Re, that's a powerful. Re, that's a powerful re, reanimation target. That's a really good reanimation target. That's a card. This, this card's powerful. It's also a, a good finisher control. You just flash this in. It's uncountable. This card's disgusting. This card's really really good. It also blocks the fucking seven seven land. It blocks the uh, hall of the storm giants because it's, it's a seven eight. Oh, you know what's gross too? Like whoever resolves the whoever 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 is the first person to resolve a a, a, a hole breaker horror essentially like beats the mirror map, beats the other horror. No, this card's like a, this card's like a fucking four. Obviously, you can't play too many, but once this, this thing's in play, it's gonna be a nightmare to deal with. Doesn't the second one beat the first? No, because the first one is in play. And you can just, uh, if they cast one, you cast any spell and you can counter it. No, four out of five, not 10. These are out of fives. Bride's Gown, one white artifact. Equipped creature gets plus two plus zero. It gets additional plus zero plus two. And it's first strike as long as the equipment card named Groom's Finery is attached to a creature control. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say limited, garbage, garbage. Ill-tempered hermit, four mana. 
Whenever this hermit is dealt damage, whenever this hermit is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target. Okay, so it's like a Boros Reckoner or Stuffy Doll or whatever, Brash Taunter. One to red, this thing is plus two plus zero on the turn for four mana. Okay, when it transforms, whenever permanent control is dealt damage, Howling Pack any permanent. Okay, no, this card's not good. This card's like a, a, a two out of fives. It's not great. Um, it's cost too much mana. And it, it, it also can, like red has a lot of good, a lot of good cards. Like we have Moonvale Regent. We have Moonvale Regent. This is this, this, is, this doesn't have menace. Like we have Moonvale Regent. We have uh, the new dragon, the Mana Storm Dragon that makes fucking Shark Typhoon tokens. Not like that great. Uh, panicked Spectator, one in the white. Whenever Panicked Spectator or another creature you control dies, you gain one life. At beginning of the end step, if you control, sorry, at beginning of the end step, if you have, if you have gained three more life this turn, transform it. It comes at three five for fucking two. Um, whenever a Giggling Culprit or another creature you control dies, you gain one life. Pay one to black. This thing is just on the turn. Eh. I don't think so now. Nope. I'm gonna give, I don't know, like a fucking one or two, one point five or something. Not, 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 not I don't think it's standard, standard playable. It's a two mana two two, but like humans have come so far that like, I don't know. A three five is kind of powerful, but the the, the ability it just it just 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 death touch, death touch, death, just death touch. Also, I don't understand why he flips. So he's scared. I don't care. I don't know what floor. I don't want to know. Blood Tithe Harvester. All right, this card seems good. This, this card already seems good. Right? It's a fucking vampire. Sorry, Waffles. Get your head. For two mana. He lures people to kill them. Okay. So two, a two mana vampire for a three two. That's already pretty good. This thing is a battlefield and make a blood token. That's, that's good. Sacrifice this card. Target creature gets plus X or target creature minus X minus X until the turn Rex is twice the number of blood tokens you control. I don't know sorcery. I hate the, I, I hate the sorcery clause on these things. I don't like the sorcery clause, but um, still this is this is this is. Uh, a 3D vampire that makes a token. I think I think it's actually good enough. I think it's pretty good. The only problem I see here is that it has two toughness. And two toughness is going to be rough because Thalia has first strike. Uh, but still, I think it seems like a two or it seems like a three for vampire deck. I mean, it's at worst it's a two mana three two. It's not it's not like it's not crazy. It's not. It's it, you know it's aggressive. It's, it's an aggressive card. Edgar. Charm Groom, four mana for a four four. Other vampires, you get plus plus one. Okay. When this thing dies, transform it. At the beginning of your upkeep, make a one one black and white vampire token with lifelink and put a counter on this. This, this three more counters, transform it. Four mana is a lot. I don't know, but like, honestly, I honestly like his coffin more than him. I like, I like, I like that. I, I like, I like the when he dies because he just spits out one of the flyers. He's probably playable in 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 a, in a vampire shell. Like, the only problem though is I've seen vampires be black red, not like black white. I see them mostly be black red, right? But um, he seems play, he seems playable in vampires for sure. He's a four mana lord, which is like a bit a bit much. Um, but yeah. All right, I'll, 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 I'll give it Edgar a three. Oh, they're not flyers. There's these don't fly though. Still, still decent. I'll give it a three, I think. Three to five. More called Walter. Four mana for one three. No, it's not playable. Crawling infestation, three man enchantment. At the beginning of the upkeep, you may mill two cards. 
Sure. Whenever one or more creature cards are put in the grave this way. No, limited. <clears throat> one mana for a 3-3. Three, three. The zombie horse. How is this a horse and I'm not a... What the fuck? Is that a horse holding a spear? Alright, as there's no cost to cast a spell, exile creature card from your graveyard. That's fine. Pay four mana, exile this card from your graveyard, draw a card. Okay. Don't worry, everyone. I hear hoof beats. The guy runners are coming to save us. Okay, S. I mean, one mana, three things seems, fucking, seems pretty fucking good to me. And then if it's, if it's in a graveyard, you can just exile, draw a card. This card seems good. Uh, three point. I, I want to give it a three point five. Uh, it's it's a zombie horse. Yeah, th this card seems great actually. Seems solid. Very playable in, bl in blue black zombies. Catapult fodder. Three mana for one five. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control three or more creatures that each have toughness greater than their power, transform this thing. It becomes a catapult. Captain. 2 6. Sacrifice another creature. Target penalty is life. You'll. No. Not good enough. It's funny, but not good enough. Cemetery Gatekeeper. 2 mana for a 2 1. First strike. That's already, that, that's, that's already playable. When this thing enters the battlefield, exile card from your graveyard. Whenever when, whenever any player plays a land or casts a spell, if it has the same name as the exiled card, Cemetery Gatekeeper deals 2 damage. That player. Same type. Wait, so if you exile a land, that's fucking miserable. What if you exile a land? Like, like their land shocked them? This card is really fucking good. As first strike, and it just shocks your opponent over and over again. Any player, but you're playing red. You don't go. You don't, you don't care about yourself. Who cares about yourself, right? This card's good though. Uh, I, I think I, I think this is a four. It's a, it's, it's a good it's a good it's a great great great, great, great creature. Jacob Hakun, investigator, two mana. Draw a card. Draw a card. Then exile card in your hand face down. You may look at the card as long as it remains exiled. Then you may pay four blue four blue blue. If you do transform this card, draw a card and the card here face down. All right, legendary enchantment. All right, Hakun's theory. Hakun, Hadouken's theory. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library face down. You may look at the card as long as it remains exiled. Once during each of your turns, you may play a land, land or cast a spell from the cards exiled by this permanent without paying the mana cost. That's kind of cool. It takes a lot to, to uh, do it. So it, it loots. It loots for a while, essentially, but not graveyard. And then it, when it transforms. It's, it's, a, it's a cool commander. It's a cool card build around. It's not, it's, it's not good enough for standard, but I love it. Oh, my neck. It's not good enough for standard, but I do love the card. And I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably, brew, I'll probably brew around this card because I like it, but. I mean, I like it. I like it also in older formats we can cast like, you know, Omniscience or Something broken. Two point five. Still looter. It's not great, but I like this card. Not a fan. I like this card. I, 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 I like this card a lot. I want to give it a three, but 
that's just me being that's just, that, that's just me liking it i think but i do like this card a lot can you confirm so if you, if you pay six can you respond to that if i if i pay six can you bolt it in response or shock in response You can spawn the tab and let the payment. I like that. I don't like this card. I like this card. It's not it's not game breaking, but I love cards like this. I fucking love cards like this. I wish there was, I wish there was more cards more cards in Magic like this that are like that are wacky or head scratchers and make you think when you when you when you build around it. Fucking love Magic cards like this. Very very, very awesome. Um, Averbrook Caretaker. Six meta, hexproof. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put two counters on another card creature control. So not itself. When it transforms, other permanent you control have hexproof. And it has hexproof. That's noxious. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put two counters on each creature you control. Wow. That backside is really powerful. Else can't really kill it. It's not broken though, it's six mana. It's also non counterable. Honestly, I don't, I, I think it's fine. I don't think it's broken though. Obviously the backside is powerful, but the front side isn't that, isn't that, isn't that great? I think, I mean, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's like a three. It's not, it's not a Seekers Chariot. It's not running seven. It's a fine card and probably annoying and limited, but it's not, not crazy. I won't say this card's broken. Even with Celeste, there's a way to transform it. I think it's, I think it's fine. Cause it's like a wrath effect kills it anyways. I think it's fine. Not crazy. Uh, wolf can now cast six mana. This spell costs two of the cast control, a wolf or werewolf. So what, four mana for a five, four? Nah. Creepy puppeteer, four mana haste. For four three, whenever this thing attacks, if you attack exactly one other creature this this combat, you may have that creature's base power and toughness become four three. No. No, like two, I guess. Umbrus, fear manifest. This is commander card, so it's just commander is like it's commander only, so I can't like can't really rate it. It's just it's playable. If you want to show play, you can play it, right? It's a five mana creature. Gets plus one, gets plus one plus one for each card in your opponent's exile. When this or another nightmare, nightmare or horror enters the battlefield under your control, target opponent exiles card from the library to the exile a land card. It's fine. It's like, I mean, it's, it's commander card. It's sweet. Olivia's attendance, uh, six mana for a six six menace. Whenever Olivia's attendance deals damage, damage with that many blood tokens. No. It's not, it's not playable. This is like a one. Six mana for a card like this is too much. Too much. I think that's about it. We have more commander cards here. All these are like all these are great. Like they're, 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 there's commander cards, right? Yeah, they're all cool. They basically they bring they bring back the soulbound mechanic or the partner mechanic. Butter kind of sucks. Eh, whatever. I mean, the, again, it's commander, so it's what it's whatever. They're all, they're all they're all fine. They're all playable. They're all cool. My favorite one of the bunch is probably I think I think my favorite one is Mirage uh, Phalanx. Six mana. 
says, as long as Mirage Fangs paired with another creature, each of those creatures has, at the beginning of combat on your turn, paired tokens of combat of this creature, except it has haste and loses soulbound, exile at the end of combat. I think I like Mirage, Mirage Phalanx the most. <laughs> 